Hey guys, what's up? As you know, on my channel every now and then I do a little bit of toy reviews and things like that. Now, I did get my hands on all these brand new Skylander Superchargers figures and I thought I'll review them for you guys, but more from a toy collector's point of view because I don't own an Xbox One and I don't own a Wii or a PS4 or anything. Uh, so I can't even try those out in the actual game. However, I can look at them as toys and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go through all these figures that you see here. Now, I'm not the biggest Skylanders fan. I just thought I'd make this video in case you're you know, considering to buy them or you're a toy collector and you just want to take a bit of a closer look at the figures before you actually purchase them. So because I'm not the biggest Skylanders fan, I have a website open in the background which I'm browsing and I'm gonna look up the names of each single figure and uh, then talk about it a little bit. Before I get into that, I want to talk about the portal itself. Um, it comes with the Superchargers pack that you can buy uh, right now. I think it was released two, three days ago. Uh, it looks quite cool. It has all these kind of weird runes all the way around here um, and a little bit of of like blue fire it doesn't make any sense but it is kind of like a blue gooey fire type of thing um, the engine here and then the exhaust on the side I think overall it looks looks quite cool has a quite nice finish um, at least for the price tag that it has um, I think you can put two players and one vehicle on there or at least three figures at a time you can put on this platform at one time but let's look at the figures themselves I find some of them really, really pretty, just from like a toy collector point of view, and others not so much. Uh, I guess the big hero that also comes with the starter pack is the Hot Streak vehicle. And this one in particular is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it just looks great. Look how this part back here looks a bit like Groot, right? Like wood or something. Um, it, it has like this kind of dragon type design the wheels look cool and even little details like little bowls and nuts inside uh, the the wheel are also there um, on the back it has this quite cool exhaust and uh, i've tested it on my son a 10 month old baby and he loved it you know it, it rolls very smoothly it actually works as a toy as well as a Skylanders uh, basically trigger object that triggers the vehicle in the game. Uh, I also love these two exhausts on each side. It has just a quite nice finish, um, uh, all that chrome finish back here. So it looks really cool. Also that detail on the front, which looks like a train in a way. Uh, so yeah, looks really, really neat. Um, I really love the design and I'm happy they chose this to be kind of the hero vehicle for the game. So coming over to this one and I have no idea how it's called. Oh yeah, it's called the Sea Shadow. Now, I had some people talking to me that really like this design. I don't like it that much. What I do like about it is the back part here, right? I think that shape is absolutely neat. It looks a bit like a scorpion or something. You know what I mean? Like the scorpion that attacks overhead to the front. I also like the finishes here on the end of the wings. I think that's quite nice. Um, however, the overall design is a bit too simple for me, if that makes sense. Uh, I feel that compared to this one, it just has so much nice intricate detail of all these chipped wood or like bone structures, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this one is a bit too clean for me. I don't know. Uh, it's not my favorite one. It, it still, lo still looks cool, I guess. Has a bit of a, a submarine kind of finish. Uh, uh, also, it looks like a like a stingray, right? Like it has like character of a ray. So that's cool. And then we come into the Bowser. Um, now, I haven't seen the other Skylanders Bowser's figures, but I really love this one. I think it looks pretty cool. You can see the, the finish there on his chest plate, uh, the, the finish on his legs. It's all really, really neat. Like this one is actually one of the figures that I feel has the most detail to them. Um, however, if you look in detail at the paint job, you know, for instance, um, just these, these horns he has on the back here, um, you can see it's not a perfect paint job. It's done a bit sloppy also over here on the shell, right? You can see that, but I guess they are not just toys. You know, they are built to be incorporated in the game and to be placed on the, on the portal that we talked about in the beginning. So for that, they're absolutely fine. Um, he's standing on the engine, like all of them do. And I guess down in the engine is the tech that allows you, uh, you know, to get the figure read into the game. Now, what's interesting is that this one works on the Nintendo Wii as an amiibo, and it also works on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, 
uh, as a Skylanders supercharger figure. So the way this works, this is actually quite clever, is look down here, you can switch around. Now it says, let me see if it's the right way around, it says Skylanders, and you can switch it over, it says Amiibo. So if you place it on the platform, the uh, Nintendo Wii gamepad now, it would read it as an Amiibo figure. If you swap it around to Skylanders, place it on the portal, it reads it as a Skylanders figure. So this one actually is kind of multifunctional. Um, again, you notice if you look really closely, some glue coming out, you know, here and there. Um, I mean, obviously, these are not premium 50 pound high end figures, and they are really nice for what they are. Don't get me wrong, I really like the design, um, but the finish is just not as premium as some people might expect. Coming over to this little guy here, who looks a bit like uh, the guy from Monsters Inc., you know what I mean? In like some kind of scuba diving suit, or is it actually, is it like a football suit? Sorry guys, I'm not too familiar with the Skylanders universe. If if I'm saying anything completely wrong, then just correct me down in the comment section. There's no problem, nothing wrong with that. I uh, always like to learn. Uh, there's a lot of things to learn about this game, and I think it's more aimed at the younger generation, so it's not entirely my fault to not know about it. Um, it's called Dive Clops, and he's got like this giant bazooka, and I was hoping that I can spin this wheel and maybe do something to it, which doesn't work. Uh, I like how, you know, there are these little indentations here and there and scratch this. Looks like he's been in a fight or something. So that's quite cool. Um, his his uh, little helmet that he has here has like a nice material finish, I feel. And I also like all the big screws up here. And it all just really looks like a mix between these old school diving suits and a football helmet for whatever reason. So I like this design, it's not too bad, but if you again compare it to the Bowser figure, um, the Bowser just has so much more detail and is so much more intricate. So from a toy collector point of view, I guess I prefer this one. Now we're coming to one of my favorite ones and it is this one. I'm looking up the name on my magical website. He's called Stormblade, Stormblade, sorry. Um, and it's some kind of bird with metal pieces on the end of his wings and i i really like this one i think he looks really cool has like a really dynamic look to him i love all the finish on his feet if you look down there i don't know if you can see that but it really really looks like uh like feet um so i really enjoy all the intricate detail on this figure again he's standing on the engine which is covered in this case by clouds obviously because he's a bird and he flies through the sky uh, so Stormblade has kind of um, yeah I don't know like a quite unique unique look to him and I also like this little helmet with the fin that goes back here um, that is all really really nice I love the combination of the blue and the purple and the silver and everything just looks really really nice so this is absolutely a figure that I would also place on my desk and just have it sitting there. A very, very beautiful design, um, I feel. Now, come to the next one. And this one is called, has the longest name from all of them, I think, Super Shot Stealth Elf. Super Shot Stealth Elf. That is, is a weird name indeed, but I guess it makes sense. He's got wide eyes, so he's stealth, I guess. Uh, he's got elf ears, very long, elongated kind of... Spock ears over here and um, I think it's a girl because he she got this really long tail which is not attached to the body so you can wiggle it around um, and again I think this is one of my favorite figures just because I love the giant wooden gun that he, he or she has I think that's cool um, and again the engine that he's or she's sitting on is incorporated in leaves because obviously elves live in forests so you have all this leafy really nice detail going on around here i think that looks really really neat and i love how they incorporated you know the each element into the figure uh, that is characteristic for the figure so whether it's here the clouds which look really cool or there the leaves i think that is pretty neat but also like his whole or her whole body i keep saying his i don't know why it's, just, it's such a male characteristic to it um her whole body 
position, right? Like how she pushes pushes the chest back, and then you you got these really nice columns up here, right? Uh, that just open open over the zip. Um, I think all this is really neat, and this is one of the figures that also has one of the better paint jobs. Uh, you see less painting bleeding into areas where it's not supposed to be. Um, so at least the one that I have here in front of me is is really nicely done and quite nicely finished and. Um, yeah, definitely another figure that I would place on my desk. Coming to the next one, which is this submarine. And again, I have to look up the name. It's called the Dive Bomber, which kind of makes sense because the whole thing looks like a big bomb, doesn't it? Like a torpedo or something. Uh, also, I just noticed, look, the front head looks a bit like a mouth. It looks a bit grumpy, like he's not having the best day swimming around. Uh, this one has the feature that I was hoping uh, that this one would have, where you spin the back and something happens. You can actually spin the wheel up here and it rotates the back. Now, I don't know if that does anything in the game or whether that's just a little toy gadgety function, but it's quite cool and uh, I think it's it's pretty neat. It's, it's a neat little submarine. I like the simplicity of it. I love uh, how it really ties together with this figure. I don't know if they are actually connected, I would think so, just from the style, whether this character matches this, this car or the submarine, I have no clue. Leave that down in the comment section below if you know more than I do, which you probably do, uh, then just explain it to me, because I'd like to learn it. And uh, yeah, so there's not that much to say about this, I like the little step ladder here on the side. Um, it's a, it's a little bit of a shame, I feel, that all these vehicles, also this one, you know, how the seat inside is rather small uh, compared to the characters that go with it. Uh, and same same in the submarine, you can see there is, there is a seat in there and there's a little bit detail of a seat and a steering wheel, but it's just way too small for the figures. Um, but I guess, you know, if they would design this at scale for the figures, then it would be absolutely gigantic and you couldn't even place the figures on the portal anymore, which also wouldn't make much sense. The next vehicle is this triangular looking uh, spaceship, I guess. It's called the Sky Slicer, which is a cool name because all these fins that it has up here and on the sides look like blades. And it really does look like um, it could slice the sky. Uh, it's a quite it's a quite crisp design, quite sharp and simple uh, in that way. But I do like how the wings kind of connect back here to the top fin and the little details like that hook up here. <clears throat> uh, just that you have this kind of uh, fan that sits back there and seems to blow air through the or from the cockpit back into the exhaust. Now the exhaust doesn't have much detail in it if you look at it does look quite cool though because it looks like an infinite tunnel or something uh, when actually it's just kind of a cone shape uh, that goes in. I do like this design, I think it's not too bad, however I personally feel that it would have needed a little bit more detail, <coughs> apologies for my voice there, um, but it just feels a little bit too simple, you know, again if you compare it with something like this, I mean, all these clean edges here, I guess that is the design intention of this vehicle. Um, but I don't know. I prefer if they could have, I don't know, put a few bowls on here or a few scratches or make it used a bit or just give it a little bit more material depth, um, if that makes sense. Oh, look, from the top, it looks quite cool, actually. It's a quite nice shape. <coughs> I really apologize. I don't know what's happening with my voice right now. Um, it's dying throughout this video, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's the sky slicer uh, Which really looks like it could slice the sky a little fin down there for stabilization or something Look at it from the front. That's quite cool. Anyway, so we got that and uh, then we are coming to this Well, actually this I, I would say this is the least my least favorite figure. Oops, sorry, I didn't hold the camera. Uh, my least favorite figure from all of them, the ones that I have here. Uh, it's called the Clown Cruiser, and while I do like his little clown face in the front, he he does have a bit of, a, and I think it's part of this green paint job, a bit of a cheap finish to it. Um, I mean, I I do like, you know, the the exhaust back here and. 
I do like this whole the whole shape looks like a bit like a drop or something like a water drop um, I think that is quite nice but you can just really see how compared to the hero vehicle like this one not that much design thought went into uh, this clown cruiser figure um, and it looks very much like they took design cues from other <clears throat> from other figures and, and just bolted them on here. I mean, obviously, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is Bowser's vehicle. And I'm getting on thin ice here because that might be totally wrong. Um, but I think, so they took, like, you know, this this um, this, this chain uh, band that kind of sits around the cockpit up here. Uh, that is definitely a cue taken from Bowser and the whole shell, green shell texture. But if you just took take these two figures and put them next to each other... Do they really match? I don't know. And and like I said, I might be wrong. It might not be Bowser's figure. It's just something that someone told me, and I trust people to tell me the right stuff. Again, leave it down in the comment section below if I'm talking bullshit, which is possible. Mm, so yeah, it's not it's not my favorite figure. Uh, I think it looks all right. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But I wouldn't spend the money on this particular one if I would just put it on my shelf as a decoration piece and then we are coming to the final figure which is the hero figure of the game and I'm making a little bit of room for this one uh, because it comes with this vehicle together I think it comes with a starter pack and it is called Spitfire now you can really see just looking at this one and to all the ones that we went through now how much design intent went into this figure it just looks really, really neat. Like it has this dragon style hat, which a uh, hat, yeah, head, head, right? Head um, <clears throat> with these little fins coming back here, which I think looks really cool. It makes him look like a really angry character. He's made up out of this blue fire, uh, which kind of goes all around down here around the engine. Um, he has all these translucent parts which work really really nice and again this is absolutely a figure that I would put on my shelf just for design purposes because I really like the design of it and if you look at the you know the kind of the shells of his of his back here going down the tail it just looks absolutely cool and absolutely gorgeous um, so I do enjoy the design of this this figure and it matches really well as well to the to the vehicle so i think they did a great job in uh, creating these two hero pieces basically the vehicle together with the figure i think it sells it really really well very beautiful design cues there um but yeah guys this is about as much as i can say about it i, I really wish i had a console here so i could try these figures out and do a bit more of an in-depth review uh, but nonetheless i mean if you guys have any questions uh, or if anything was unclear or you think i might be able to answer any of your questions uh, then feel free to ask me down in the comment section below i just wanted to do this this really really rough review uh, in case you're considering to buy these figures in case you're not sure whether they fulfill you know your design expectations uh, so i hope this video helped you a little bit and uh, if it did you can leave me a like you can share the video do all the good stuff that would be very much appreciated uh, you can subscribe to my channel normally i do more like video game commentaries and a walkthrough every now and then um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Otherwise, take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.